Welcome to a new guitar tutorial and today we have a look at My Lucky Card, a new song by Billy Gibbons that came out today. If you're interested in sheet music of the song, you can go to my Patreon page, there you can download a transcription of the rhythm guitar part including tabs and rack limitation. And by the way, thanks a lot to all my patrons for their support. If you enjoyed the lesson, please hit subscribe, ring the bell, leave a like. If you have any questions, drop me a line in the comments. In the original recording, the guitar is tuned down a whole step. So if you want to play along with the original, you have to tune down the E string to D, the A string to G, the D string to C, the G string to F, the B string to A and the high E string down to D. But for this lesson, I used the standard tuning. The song starts with a single note riff We are starting on the, on the open E string Then we're going up to the A string and doing a hammer on to the second fret of the A string Followed by the D string Then we're going down to the, to the third fret of the low E string doing a pull off and then we're going up to the second fret of the D string this is followed by the open E string again and then we're going up to the fifth fret of the D string and then down to the second fret of the D string so this complete bar One more time. And for the intro of the song we play this riff six times with a slight change in the sixth bar. On the sixth bar we, we don't end on the on the E on the second fret of the D string. The last time we end on the second fret of the G string. So the last bar of the intro riff. And then the verse starts and the verse uses also this riff. First for the first bar we, we end on the on the E on the second fret of the D string and for the second bar we end on the A on the second fret of the G string. And this two bar riff is played three times during during the verse part and then the chorus starts and the chorus uses this open g power chord we have the, the third fret of the low e string we mute the a string open d string open g string third fret of the b string and the third fret of the high e string and then we're going to an open d chord and on the original recording there are two guitars. There's one guitar which is only playing the chord and holding it for the complete bar and then the same is a D chord. And then there's a, is another guitar which is playing a groove. And you can combine these two guitars starting on the root and then playing the groove on the upper strings. One E and E, two E and E, three E and E, four E and E. And then the same with the, with the D chord. And the complete two bars. And then there's a tuba interlude, which is the same as the verse riff of the song. And then the second verse starts and the second verse is played in the same way as the first verse. And then there's another chorus section also starting with the G chord. Which is played in the same way as in the first chorus. And on the D chord, one E and E2, we're doing a stop on beat number two. And after this chorus, there's another tuba interlude using the basic riff of the song, but this time we end 
those yeah. bars on the on the E on the second fret of the of the D string. And then the first guitar solo starts and the counting for the first guitar solo goes like this. Starting on the on the Louis string again, then we're going to the to the fourth fret of the A string, but we we're doing a slide to the fourth fret, then we're doing a slide to the fifth fret, and then we're doing a slide down from the fifth fret to the fourth fret. One, two, three, four, E. One, two. And this part is played four times and then we're going up to the fourth fret of the D string, fourth fret D string, then we're doing a slide to the sixth fret of the of the D string, up to the seventh fret of the D string, and now we're doing once again a slide backwards. So we have one, two, three, four, E. And this part is played two times. After that there's a three bar interlude which uses also the, the first riff of the song. All three bars are ending on the on the second fret of the D string. And then there's another verse section which is played in the same way as the verses before. And then there's another chorus and in this chorus we play the G and D chord twice. <laughs> which leads us back to our to our first riff played as an interlude for one bar. Then there's a one bar drum break and then there's a, another guitar solo till the end of the song. Also played over this riff. This riff is played seven times and then we have to stop on, on this open, open E chord. Then there's a one bar drum break once again and then we end the whole song on on the the third fret of the high e string and the third fret of the b string this was the rhythm guitar part of my lucky card the new song by billy f gibbons i hope you enjoyed the lesson please hit subscribe if you haven't ring the bell leave a like drop me a line in the comments and i hope to see you next time bye